Dad decides to take all my money. So now he's divorced and homeless. I'm 20, non-binary, and live with my parents, both in their 50s, and two younger sisters, 20 and 19. Money has always been tight for as long as I can remember. For the past four months I've been covering my parents' entire rent. I don't earn a lot, but I'm working about 50 hours a week, mostly due to the place being so understaffed, so my paycheck isn't bad. I even managed to stash some cash away when I can. But lately, every one of my dad's paychecks, he earns the most out of all of us, has either been garnished or just vanished before he even sees it. Unfortunately, I get paid on the same days he does, which means my savings and most of my paycheck have gone straight into bills. Two weeks ago my dad didn't get his paycheck again, and I ended up overdrawing my account by $1,000. It wasn't intentional, I had forgotten about a payment that hadn't processed yet. So when my paycheck came on Friday, it was only $100, and my dad instantly asked for $80 of it. I'd already told my parents I couldn't help with money for the next couple of weeks, but my dad didn't get paid again, and now they're scrambling to keep the utilities from being shut off. My college does this thing where you pay the full tuition, and at the end of the semester, they refund you the amount covered by scholarships and financial aid. There's a deadline, but if you miss it, they just hold on to the money for you. For the two years I've been in school, I keep forgetting to claim it. I missed the deadline for last fall, but I was on top of things for spring, knowing I'd forget again. This is my last year there, anyway, since I'm transferring. Of course, I promptly forgot. Well, Friday, I got an email from the bank system my college uses, saying I'd be receiving the money. I didn't think much of it, I usually get those funds super late, so I figured maybe in June. But to my shock, it hit my account that same day. And since it's been sitting there for two years, it was a decent chunk. I'm definitely not rich, but it was more than I expected. I paid off a bill I couldn't touch for a while and left the rest sitting in my account. It's been two days, and I haven't said a word about the money to my parents. They don't even know I get money from my college, probably because I never remember to tell them. I know this money could help us avoid having the utilities cut off, but I can't bring myself to say anything. I'm planning to move out soon, and this cash could give me some breathing room or cover my summer classes. I kind of want to keep quiet and let my parents believe I'm broke. But if the utilities go out, I'm stuck in that mess too. I feel like a jerk for not telling my parents about the money. I know I'm being selfish, but I'm just exhausted from watching every cent I make disappear into family bills. My mom always feels guilty, but at the end of the day, they do what they need to survive. So am I the a-hole? Edit. Growing up, my parents dug themselves into a hole with payday loans and other debts, including what they owe the IRS and the state. At one point, my dad was accused of having a gambling problem, something that runs deep in his family. And honestly, he probably did for a while. But my parents hashed it out. On top of that, my dad's company has garbage communication, so we never know when his wages are getting garnished or why until his paycheck hits, leaving us blindsided. We all work, but my dad and I bring in the most money. My mom has a minimum wage job, and both my sisters work part-time gigs that don't pay much either. My mom and the older of my sisters do help with the bills, but my youngest sister? She's the type who gets a little cash and immediately goes on a spending spree. My parents cover a lot of her expenses and never see a cent back. They're trying to rein her in, but there are other complicated issues involved that I won't dive into here since they don't relate to the money. I earn decent cash because I'm a lifeguard, and with the shortage of us, they're paying us really well. As many of you suggested, I am planning to move out. This summer, I'm relocating to a different city for school. Honestly, I don't think I need to take the extreme measures some of you mentioned. My bank account is separate from theirs, even though we use the same bank. My parents don't try to sneak into my account, and the few times my dad even attempted it, I called him out and ripped into him for it. My mom feels awful about the situation and wouldn't pull anything shady, and my dad knows I've got strict boundaries. I've set up so many alerts on my credit card and bank account that even a dollar moving gets flagged to me instantly. And no, I'm not expecting to get back the money I've given my parents. I'm not even going to try. The last thing I want is to become another bill they can't pay. But I do plan to follow some of the advice you all gave. My parents are already aware and I'll remind them again when I leave that I won't be able to cover anything once I'm gone. I'll be cutting my work hours and dealing with my own bills, school, rent and everything else that comes with living on my own. Relevant Comments Commenter, not the a-hole. You're technically paying for school yourself, right? The student loans and scholarships are all in your name, so that money is yours. Put it into savings, use it to buy textbooks next semester. If it's money left over from your student loans, you'll technically have to pay it back when you start paying your loans. So might as well use it as you please. I received money back from college for a few semesters, like $600 semester. But at that time my parents paid for my tuition, only $1,500 semester, community college. 
so I just paid them back that money since it was theirs anyway. But when I started paying for myself, I kept that money for myself. OOP, I pay for college out of pocket, I don't have student loans and no one else has paid for my tuition so it is absolutely my money. Update. So I, 20 NB, live with my parents and two sisters for now. I am moving out next month. So my dad decided to play a joke on me. He took my card and took 90% of the money and my money out of my checking account. For those wondering about the college money I got from a previous post it is in another savings account that is through another institution so it is safe. He then put my card back in its original position and went to work. He did all of this around midnight. So I woke up in the morning to most of my money being gone. My first thought was that my dad took my card without asking, but my card was still in my wallet and where I left it. I had thought that someone had cloned my card and guessed my PIN. I sent off a quick text to my mom and call my bank. I spent a while doing that. I was so anxious, I was practically sobbing and I'm not a person that really cries. That money was my deposit and rent for June. I then went into the living room and heard my mom arguing. I couldn't hear much but I heard my mom exclaim, what made you think it was a good idea? Instantly dread filled me. I walked up to my parents' room. My mom was arguing with my dad on the phone. According to my dad, he found our cat playing with my card. He decided to take it and remove my money to teach me a lesson about leaving my card lying around and then go to work. My dad apologized to me and I just handed the phone back to my mom and stormed out of the room. My dad had pulled something like this to me before except he took all of my money and then lost it. My dad claimed that he took the money to teach me a lesson for leaving my card around around my family. Later on he told me in private that he took it because he knew I was lying about the amount of money I had. I had been saving that money for a medical thing so I was hiding it because my family is always in a state of financial distress and he would ask for it if he knew that I had it and I was just done being in constant pain. Anyways there were clear flaws in the story he told us. First that I had my card and it was in my wallet exactly where I left it. That was a whole separate trip from going to work. Also neither my wallet or my card have any sign of damage. My dad works out of city which is a one and a half car ride from where we live. My mom said that she will drive me to my dad's work where we will pick up the money. We don't trust him to have it till he is done working due to what happened last time. He protested saying that that will use too much gas and that he will drive down instead as that will use the same amount of gas. This ultimately leads to my mom practically having the confirmation that he has started gambling again. My dad had a gambling addiction when I was younger, but he got help for it and had been clean for a while. As in her mind why else would he be so adamant that we not go to his work? He came home and returned all the money to me, yes I counted over and over again to make sure. He apologized and I said nothing. My mom said that he didn't sound sincere. My dad blew up on her saying that he had apologized over the phone and that he was obviously sorry about what happened. He later on apologized to me about that but I ignored it and he doesn't seem to be talking to my mom. My mom has told me that she is going to talk to a lawyer and she is absolutely torn up about this. There have been so many issues with their relationship this past year but this seemed to be the straw that broke the camel's back to leave her 40-year-old marriage to my dad. My sisters don't know what is going on or if they do not the whole situation. I told her that once I move out that I might go no contact with him. My mom got all sad and said she doesn't blame me for wanting to after all that my dad put me through. I'm honestly emotionally drained and dreading calling back my bank. My mom had this great weekend plan for us but now there is an overwhelming feeling of dread and tension over everything. I was actually going to finally do something for myself that I had finally worked up the nerve to ask my mom about but that had to be cancelled. Honestly if it wasn't for the fact that I'm moving out soon I would have called my friend and moved out today. I'm just done with my dad in this situation. At the same time I feel such an overwhelming guilt. I know that I did the right thing. That I had to tell my mom and protect myself financially but I don't know. I feel responsible for my parents separating and me and my mom are the only ones that know that even though my dad made his choice. The fact that I love my dad and I still want a close relationship with him like I never had yet I can't imagine ever talking to him after he put me through all this. I also feel like I'm too emotional and hasty to make these decisions as all of this happened today. Maybe I just need confirmation that I'm doing the right thing. So would I be the idiot? Another relevant comment. Commenter. 10000 not the a-hole. Your dad stole from you. Change your PIN number and passwords on everything. OOP. Oh absolutely. I reached out to my bank thinking that someone copied my card before I found out it was my dad. I am getting a new PIN, new card, and account information. Everything is being changed. Update 2. I know it's been two weeks since my last post but a lot has happened since then. My parents are getting a divorce, I have mixed feelings about this. My mom has started to track my dad. I know invasion of privacy but it was the only way to know for sure. Multiple times the tracker has put him at a casino when he claims he's working. My mom has figured that he has been getting his paycheck two days early and not telling anyone. 
My mom called a lawyer last Wednesday to talk about her next move. My dad isn't fighting it which is honestly destroying my mom. Yesterday we got an eviction notice that we have to be out by the end of the month. This has happened before but my dad has always explained it away. Apparently we, my dad, hasn't paid the rent in 4 months. My dad hasn't said anything about this. He now knows we are all seeing through him and his act. My mom and younger sister are going to live with my maternal grandparents. Me and my other sister are moving out to our own apartment at the end of the week. This makes me extremely angry. Cause my parents got the money for me to pay for the rent. Instead it was going to my dad's gambling. I did a calculation for how much I gave them this year and I am horrified it is over $10,000. All my savings for college so many of my paychecks that I have given up to help my family has actually gone to my dad's gambling addiction. I feel so used and like a fool. I feel so betrayed. My mom has told me that she doesn't want me to go no contact with my dad. She wants to hold family dinners once everything has settled down and she has a place and she is going to invite my dad. My mom still loves my dad and keeps saying that he is sick. I know this, I know he isn't well. That he has lost control but I don't know if I can keep him in my life. He used me and manipulated me. I feel less like his child and more like his walking bank account. He broke our family and even if it is because he's sick I don't know if I can put it past me. I know that it would destroy my mom to cut my dad out of my life. I know you guys said I'm not the ah in my last post but I still feel like one. I might add more later as I have to go to work. Edit, adding some details I forgot about in a rush to go to work. One of the reasons that my mom is going to do these dinners is to give my dad a reason to get help. I honestly don't think that will work. First my father is rarely with us or does stuff when he lives with us, I doubt he will go. Second if the looming threat of divorce didn't kick him into gear I don't think weekly dinners will. I have a really good relationship with my mom so I do want to go to those dinners to spend time with her but I don't know if I can face my dad if he decides to come. My mom wants me to have a good relationship with my dad which is why she doesn't want me to go no contact with him. Also some of it is likely her guilt for the situation and the fact I tend to be the person she goes to for help. Also a lot of you have been confused by the me being responsible for their divorce. Like I said it was an update to a post that I had made previously. If you want all the information, go look at that post but the rundown is, I woke up and saw that someone stole my money. I told my mom and she figured out it was my dad. My mom realized that she needs to divorce my dad due to him lying about what happened. My mom has never told me that any of this was my fault. It was how I was feeling in the moment. I have since gotten over that guilt. Many of you have said that I should try to get the money back from my dad. I'm not sure. I made peace not getting the money back. I'm not going to take him to court. My life is already crazy without worrying about court and my dad's gambling addiction. Not to mention I really don't have proof that I could show the court as I just gave the money to my mom. I never made any comments digitally what the money is for so it will absolutely fall apart and become a he said they said. And honestly I don't want to deal with it. I just want to move past this. Update 3. So I, NB20, live in my own apartment with my sister, 20, and roommate, M19. We moved in about 2 weeks ago. Due to events in one of my previous posts me and her are the only ones in my family not homeless. My dad has been living in his car and staying in hotels when able. My dad has recently been hospitalized for a multitude of reasons, no I won't go into detail. He is going to be released some of the medical advice that is going to be given to my dad he can't follow due to being homeless. My parents haven't mentioned the fact they're my dad's homeless or that they are in the middle of a divorce to the hospital. My mom is scared what that would mean for him. My mom has asked me to talk to my roommates to see how they feel about my dad living with us temporarily. I agreed to but I honestly don't want to have him. This might be selfish but he would be in my room due to the fact he works night. He won't do my sister's room because her room is hyper feminine and is only separated by a curtain from the living room. As I'm the one with an actual room he would be sleeping in my room. Our schedules are pretty reversed so we would never see each other except on my days off, but I really hate this idea. In our previous house I had to share my room with my mom because of her working from home. This meant that whenever someone feels like it they would barge into my room. I finally have my own space that no one could barge into and not even two weeks later it might be stripped from me. Not to mention I am currently searching for another job due to the fact that I have moved to another city and no longer want to commute 3 hours each way and I have a couple phone interviews lined up for my days off and I can't go into the living room due to my roommates also having those days off and I don't like talking on the phone in public. My dad has also not acknowledged that he has done anything wrong. I am also still pissed at him. He can't go with my mom and other sister due to my maternal grandparents hating his guts at the moment. He can't ask any of his family due to the fact that they are abusive and he doesn't want to admit how bad his situation has gotten, so this just leaves me and my sister. My dad already doesn't like our roommate due to sexism and toxic masculinity. I don't think he will act any way that will show it but I really don't want to place him in a situation where he might have to deal with that. 
I have yet to tell my roommates as they had already left when my mom asked and I don't want to ruin their event or have this conversation over text. I'm very tempted to pay out all the reasons it would be a bad idea for them so they agree that we can't do it so I'm not the ah, but I don't like the idea of manipulating them. My mom said that my dad probably won't accept the offer but I'm not sure I can make the offer. Also hotels are not the option due to the fact none of us have the money for them and my dad will likely be paying off this trip for a while. I honestly feel like either way I'm screwed. So am I the idiot? Even another relevant comment. Commenter, this sounds way too big for us to solve. OOP. Unfortunately you are my only solution cause I have no one to talk to about this situation. Update 4. So yesterday was my dad's birthday. M60. I, NB20, have been pretty much no contact with him since my last post about him only really seeing him here and there. My dad has reached out to me once but I didn't respond. Never once has he apologized for what he has done. For the past week I had been debating if I should send him the above text. No matter what I decided I wasn't going to get him anything after all the money he took from me. Then on Wednesday my phone got stolen. I spent most of Wednesday and yesterday trying to find it and come up with solutions so that I can do all the things I need to do. I thought that that was the answer to texting my dad. Yesterday I got a new phone and was talking to my mom. She texts me that I need to send my dad a text. She always reminds me to send birthday and holiday texts as I am notorious for forgetting to, I said I will later as I still hadn't decided if I was going to. She then told me that she gave my dad $20 for me. I was shocked. She said all my siblings agreed to send him $20 for a hotel room, we all know he will probably gamble it away. I had never agreed due to my stolen phone, I was pretty much out of contact but I had still talked to her through my roommates. She also could have waited and asked if I was okay with it, which I would have said no. I don't think my mom will ask for the 20 she just seemed to do it in my name. Regardless I was pissed. So I didn't text my dad because I wanted to make sure he was aware that I haven't forgiven him and that we don't have a relationship anymore. I also did it to spite my mom for putting my name on a gift I never agreed to. I was so sure of it yesterday, but now I think I might have just been petty.